evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, and welcome to the 2023 Dodgeland Elementary Spring Concert, grades one through three. We're so happy to have you with us this evening. My name is Ben Johnson. I am the 4K through fourth grade elementary music teacher here at Dodgeland. Um, we are beyond excited. The kids are beyond excited to share with you the weeks and weeks of all of their hard work. Um, in order to ensure that this concert goes off without a hitch, just a couple of, of housekeeping things. Um, in consideration of all the students who are working so hard, we ask that you please do not wave during the concert. You're more than happy to wave and celebrate all their amazing work after the concert, but for now, Keep it at, at a minimum. Also, if you could please turn off any cell phones, pagers, anything that goes beep in the night, just that would make things much easier. Um, once the concert is over, um, you can, the students will be dismissed to their classrooms. You can retrieve them from there. But first, let us give a warm round of applause for our first grade students. They have been working so hard, and they are beyond excited to share their music with you. Their first song is all about, well, music. There are many different ways in which we all love music, and you're going to hear about some of those different ways with our first song, I Like Music. Our next song highlights all of the magic that happens when children sing. Children of all ages, whether they're the age of the performers you're seeing right now, whether they're older children, lots of beautiful, wonderful things happen when we sing, when we make music. Here is some of that magic.
our third and final song showcases all of the profound effects that music has on us. Profound, silly, and everything in between. Including making us do a little wiggle. Alrighty, let's have one more round of applause for our first grade students. And now, let's give an equally round, warm round of applause to our second grade students. Their first, their songs are all about going outside into springtime and all of the different elements of nature we encounter. Flowers, sunlight, and bees.
with our second second grade song. Winter is gone, summer is on its way. It's finally time for the sun to come out. Oh, Mr. Sun, come on out. And now for our third and final song of second grade, I have a question for all you friends. What month are we in right now? May. May. Ah, well, then let's give May a proper greeting. One more round of applause for our fantastic second graders. Excellent. 
And now, please welcome the third grade classes. Now, their first piece, I don't know if you noticed this, but we've been using instruments, these colorful pipes you're seeing, those are called boom whackers. And I don't know if you noticed this, but something seems a little bit wacky around here. Hmm. I also want to make sure to check that we're uh, feeling all right. No one has a uh, spring fever. You might even say a uh, wacky spring fever. <laughs> Seems, we'll, seems, seems the fever has broken. Seems we're all feeling better now. And now we can finally let the sun out and bask in the warmth of the springtime sunshine.
Before we perform our final song for the evening, I just want to thank you all again for coming out tonight to support these wonderful students and their incredible music making. Just as an additional reminder, once the song has concluded, the concert will be done, and then the students will go back to their classrooms, and you can pick them up there. And now for our final song. You know, in this glorious month of spring, the season of spring, there are so many different words we can use to describe it. And now we're going to share some with you for our final song. All right, hello everybody. Um, we are about to get started here. Welcome to the last elementary music concert of the year. We are gonna start with the band. For those of you who don't know me, because it happens, I'm new. Um, I'm Noah McKay, I'm the new band director this year. Really excited to finally play our last concert. We only meet for about 30 minutes a week in each section. So this is the, actually this is the second time that the whole band has played together this whole cycle. So since Bandorama. So they're doing a great job. Um, I am not one for words. So I'll give you the titles of the song for each one, and then we'll just keep the ball rolling after that. All right? The first song that we're going to play is called Song of the Fjords. It is a Norwegian folk tune. And are we ready? Let's begin.
The next one is farm out, which most of you probably know as uh, bingo. Ready? All right, nice. Uh, so the last one is called Erie Canal Capers. Um, this is probably my favorite one of the concert. I hope they all like it as well. Again, I would like to thank you all for coming to both mine and also the other side of the music portion, choir and general music. Um, I'm excited to see you guys all next year as sixth graders, because then we meet every other day all the time with everybody, and we're gonna have really good music then. All right, thank you. This is Erie Canal Capers. Can we get one more round of applause for our fifth grade band? <laughs> Bravo to Mr. McKay and the entire fifth grade band. That was excellent. Now we present you the fourth grade portion of the concert. My name is Ben Johnson and I'm the 4K through fourth grade elementary music teacher. The, uh, the fourth graders are gonna be performing three songs for you. Uh, the first song is kind of the reverse stage of the fifth grade band. You see all of the students you see up here are at where the fifth, grade, fifth graders were at this time last year. And they had to start somewhere, and this is where they started from, with recorders. So our first piece, entitled Blueberry Waltz, is going to showcase all about that starting point and how their progress can be measured from where they are with recorders to what you saw with the instruments with the fifth graders. So please enjoy.
Our second song highlights some of the things that we learn in music class in fourth grade. This is the last year before they head off to band and choir, so we practice different things that get them ready for those, for those classes. One of the things that we practice is harmonies in our voices, in our songs, two-part harmony. Our next song, Follow the Rainbow, not only highlights the various colors of springtime, but also showcases two-part harmony. We hope you enjoy. song focuses on one color of spring in particular, the color green. Our last song shows how much green can be found in spring, and we're going to sing all about it for you. Green is the time to stop. 
All right. Good evening. Thank you for your patience as we changed over the stage. Got a lot of great musicians and and playing recorders and playing instruments and and now we got a piano and a guitar and and uh, just takes us a moment or two to switch things over. So uh, thank you for your patience. So this is our fifth grade choir, or should I say fifth grade choirs. I met with them uh, once a week, but in two sections. So my gentlemen met with me on Wednesdays. My ladies met with me on Thursdays. And so you'll see they've prepared two songs that they'll sing together. They kind of practice them separately, and then we smush them together. Uh, and then they each have their own feature song as well that they kind of had a hand in selecting. So uh, we will begin our concert with uh, a song in the style of a, of a traditional folk tune called Follow the Heron. Again, that was Follow the Heron Home, a beautiful song in the style of a traditional folk tune about um, winter being over and spring coming. And for a while there, I thought winter was never going to end. We, we had that one week of 70 and 80 degree weather and then back to the 40s for quite a while, but it's coming back. So we're thankful for that. Our next song will be a feature with the ladies over here. And I must tell you, between the two groups choosing songs, they were the most difficult to work with. They could not come to a decision. And, and so ultimately, and maybe that sounds familiar to you from your home life, um, and so it came down to, I came up with a few suggestions, and when we put it to a vote between two suggestions, Guess how the vote went? Split right down the middle, 50-50. So I had to incorporate my high school teaching assistants 
to come in and make the final determination, but we were all happy with the selection. And this is a song called Unwritten by Natasha Bedingfield. Next up, we have the boys, and uh, it is so encouraging to see so many uh, of our gentlemen from fifth grade being in choir this year. Um, it, it's really encouraging, and I hope to see all of our fifth graders continue with it through the years, and if we can extrapolate this years down the road, I can only imagine what the high school choir will sound like in a number of years. Not too many years, though. It's amazing how quick they grow up. But it'll be great to hear what the high school sounds like in a few short years. But right now we got our gentlemen singing House of Memories by Panic at the Disco. And uh, somewhat inspired by a, a group of fifth graders out in New York called the PS22 Choir. Um, they sing a lot of pop music. And so we kind of were inspired by their rendition. So this is House of Memories. Picture now, shake it till you see it, and 
when your fantasies become your legacies. Promise me a place and you got some memories. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think of you from time to time more than I thought I would. You were just too kind. All right. So before we sing our final song, uh, I'd just like to do some verbal thank yous. Um, we are appreciative of our administration here at Dodgen, our elementary school principal, uh, Mrs. Jenny Hillsman, and our district administrator, uh, Mrs. Jessica Johnson. So we're appreciative of the support they give us for our programs. Uh, we also are immensely thankful to our custodial staff who uh, sets all these chairs up, and then they'll tear them all down, and we'll do it again next week for our middle school, high school choir concert on Monday, and our middle school, high school band concert on Tuesday. Shameless plug for those two concerts, if you want to come check them out. It's going to be some good music. Um, I personally would like to thank uh, my music colleagues, Mr. Noah McKay, our band teacher, and Mr. Ben Johnson, our uh, uh, pre-K through four teacher. So let's give them a round of applause. And lastly, I want to give a, a big shout out to someone who uh, you typically don't see, but whose work is seen, and it's the reason you can see them, uh, Mr. Brad Modaff, who runs our, our sound and our lights. We just had an upgrade to this system. Yeah, give him a big round of applause. Uh, Brad was a former student here and, uh, and is now serving the district in, uh, with our district technology, but is a fervent supporter of the arts, and he, he makes all this run. It makes us sound good, makes us look good, and uh, so we are so thankful to him for all the work and extra hours that he puts in. So um, this is our last song, Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. It's so big, I, I had to change the font size on our program. So this one has a little bit of a back and forth at some times between our gentlemen and our ladies. And so we hope you enjoy this, this tune from Mary Poppins, Supercalifragilistic Expialidocious. <laughs>
Thank you all for coming this evening. We hope you enjoyed our concert. Uh, for picking your students up, we're going to send the fifth graders. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid a massive traffic jam here. So let's do fifth graders can be picked up in their hallway. Fourth graders can be picked up in the choir room behind in this back hallway here. So fourth graders, choir room, fifth graders in the fifth grade hallway there. Parents, you can see your children there. Give them big hugs, lots of congratulations. Thank you again. We hope to see you Monday or Tuesday at our next concerts.